Welcome back to Subsistence with Zombie Lever and Rook for now. And uh, here's a Tatman, and there's a Blondie. And they're sleepy. They're very sleepy mm -hmm. right now. But they might join us here sooner or later. I don't know. Hopefully sooner rather than later. But, but for now... They'll answering their messages. Oh, do you need any meat? I've got, a, I've got three pieces of meat that I can cook up right now. So if you I need protein one piece. at all, yeah, here. Well, I mean, there's going to be three of them. Either they go bad or we eat them. So, oh, you notice one of our uh, fireplaces busted. <gasps> Rook. Yeah, they have. Well, no, they have. Um, like they degrade. On them now. They degrade over time. So this one's down to two hundred and five yeah. out of six hundred. The other one already burned out. So, all right, I don't I've got... get why they degrade, because you're adding new fire to them, and that's you replacing... That, that just doesn't make sense. I agree, completely. Just giving you another thing to repair constantly. Oh, there's a chicken over I there. I know, initially, you could repair the animal traps, but it would cost you a nail, same as it cost you a... Wall, same as it costs you a log and a nail, same as it costs to oh. repair a wall. We've got a you bear. You upset something? Yeah, it's a bear very close. So I see what you guys are talking about walking the bear away. Yeah, you just keep it at a distance and it doesn't charge you, but goes away. Uh, put the meat in the crates. Hopefully it won't disappear. All right. Bruce QC, thank you for the follow. How are you doing, Bruce? Hiya, Bruce. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I'm leading this bear over right over to some crates that I want to loot. Okay, that's dumb. Aww. Don't do that, Rook. What's wrong with you? <laughs> uh, we're doing well. Well, I'm doing well. Rook's got a bear, and I'm going to steal all the crates that he's not able to get. Yeah, come and get him along the beach there. Well, towards... Oh, God, I got it. You know, don't walk backwards. Oh, crap, there's a bear. Oh, my God. He, uh... uh he bit me. <laughs> he bit me. <laughs> oh, did he touch you in bad places? Ugh. Shall I get the paper doll? Well, I, did, uh, what I is it? walking oh, backwards towards the fence, and I thought, oh, you know, it's a bad idea to walk backwards and uh, not know, but then I, I turned. There's the bear. Oh, God. No. Not good. A uh, that's the build version of subsistence. So it is currently alpha 57.49, to be exact. Basically, it's just Alpha 57, but there's been a few updates to correct issues with the last update and to implement a few different things. Did you know, Rook, that in one of those 0. 0.49 things, uh, if you... Have you got, you've got a shotgun, haven't you? I have. If you click on that, you know, as you are going to if you put the flashlights on there, it actually has camo patterns. Woodland camo. Oh, you interesting. You can't actually select it yet. Oh. So okay. in a future update, that will be added, and we will be able to customize our weapon look. <laughs> Great. You know, I, I'm a real pragmatist when it comes to gameplay. I, I like things that have functional advantage. Yeah. I could care less about cosmetics most of the time. <laughs> you know, unless I'm like doing modded Skyrim where I want to, all my followers yeah. to wear tiny metal bikinis. But, you well, know, that's a yeah. whole other thing. <laughs> you know, otherwise I don't care about the cosmetic crap. I uh, know this isn't modded. This is still vanilla. I don't think you can mod um, seven days to die just yet. That's Rook was talking about modded, yeah, mo mo modded Skyrim. Skyrim, yeah. Now I did a series. In fact, a couple, two, three, whatever. I did some series of uh, modded Skyrim, 
and like I'd have all these real sexy girls and all, most of my mods in that series were all tailored around sexifying I have noticed, everything. So yeah. I have noticed most of the mods for Skyrim are really stupid ones or sexy ones and that's it. Right. Uh, I'm a big player. Can you explain the camera icon thing you just shown? Yeah, yeah. Let me just chop down the tree and go stand somewhere where I won't get bitten like Rook. Yeah. Do, 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 do. You know, in early game, too, I am hesitant to use bandages just to repair a little bit of damage. I mean, unless I'm bleeding yeah. out, you know, that's a whole other thing. Yeah, there's thing. no point. But. I want to save my bandages because I don't, I don't want to waste the cloth because it's kind of at a premium and you want it to make shotgun and you want it to make armor and all that crap. But um, oh, this one. Yeah. Damn, every time I see a crate, there's a creature guarding it. So what I meant was, uh, Bruce, impossible, I don't know... It's just that up there, you've got the option to, or well, currently it shows that there will be an option to change the the camo pattern for the gun. It won't have any effect on it, apart from it will be painted different. And knowing cold games, it will probably cost you an arm and a leg to actually paint it. Yeah. But it's the only gun that has that as of yet. So no other weapon has a camo option. I'm hoping it means that we'll be able to change our clothing pattern as well in time. We shall see on that front, though. Yeah, no, that makes a little more sense than camouflaging your shotgun. You know, yeah, it's, like the, it's so the deers can't see you sneaking up on them. Well, uh, it would be better than on clothing, like you said, so... Man, yeah. too many bears and wolves, and all these packages right near them. That stinks. <laughs> it's always the way. Well, I do have four shotgun shells now. I was fortunate um, this morning I got on briefly and did a little bit of gathering. I just ran around looking for stuff, and by and large, chopping trees, and it just happened that yeah. a lot of the packages I got had ammo in them. So, got awesome. real lucky with that, yeah. Gotta love ammo. Where'd that... Where'd that thing go? Okay, here it is. Cook up Mr. Rabbit. Uh, Cook up Mr. Rabbit. Yeah, I just shot me another rabbit, too. Ooh. Eventually, we'll have enough to make cloves. Yeah, I've well, got a whole more bunch... I mean, I thought I had gotten a ton of cloth, but there's like 11 pieces in there. You know. <laughs> That's a lot early game. Oh, it is, you know, relatively speaking, but uh, not yeah. as much as I really thought I had gathered, but whatever. Oh, you forgot about um, Blondie's trap, have you? No, no. I've, I've been harvesting and, and restocking it, so... Uh, it's almost broken, so we'll need a new one before long. Because we don't have a hammer yet. Um, what I might do is dismantle it so we don't lose the bait inside it. And then we only need half the... Re we get half the resources back so that we only need half the resources again. Oh, I can't. It's not, <laughs> it's not been put down by our teammate. Ah, team uh, yeah. Well, I mean, uh, the plan yeah. is to get a BCU up during this stream. And that all depends on... Yeah. Uh, how much of this base we can continue to build up to get I want to get to the top of the rock and place down at least four or five foundations up there and stairways leading up there and once we've got it like yeah. this rock you want to put your foundations so that you can cover the entire surface of the rock without having any of it poking through but it would you gotta, be helpful, yeah. Yeah, you want to find the highest spot, and it's kind of hard to tell, but we will see. Man, there's a freaking wolf real nearby. I think I'm going to use one of my shotgun uh, shells right now. Come here, wolf. 
Boom. Bruce, it's the shotgun that has the decal on it. Well, the camo pattern option. Can you show him? Yeah, I'm showing him on my screen. There. Yeah, I'm 51.9. So, just make sure you're in 51.9. Version 57, but... I don't... Other than that, I couldn't tell you how I've managed to get it, and no one... Well, Rook's got it as well. I think you have to have it... Put it in experimental. Experimental. Especially to get... Yeah, it wasn't... Especially to get 50... No, 57.4 might be full alpha release. 0.9 might be experimental still. Yeah, that's probably how it is. No, I just leave it in experimental because the updates aren't massive, like gigabyte versions. They don't take too long to load up, and it means that Steam will go find the update, and as soon as I turn my PC on, it's already figuring out what's going on and downloading it for me. Basically, I think I even have it set to automatic downloads as soon as I'm not playing a game. That is, I've never had any problems. The, the worst thing I get at the moment is because Rook is hosting and he's in America and I'm not. He's a bit of lag. But that's to be expected with any multiplayer game. Especially a game that is in alpha. And hell, I play full release games that are 40 quid and we get worse um, rubber banding in that. Yeah. So it is what it is. I found a lot of crate. We really need to get a BCU down. Uh, yeah. I know it. Do you want me to start making some more planks? You probably have some there anyway. Oh, yeah, I made quite a few, but I haven't banged enough trees to... But, I mean, we can see. <laughs> we can see I've got quite a few, and we've already got two stairways that Blondie built. Um, I just, I'm going to have yeah. to move the crates so that we can actually get a stairwell built. Uh, no, you should be able to put it off the side. Uh, that's true. Let's see here. Uh, the only thing I've points. noticed is the shotgun icon is a different icon. I think a few of the recipes are slightly different, but I don't know whether they were for the 0.49 version or just at some point between 57 and 57.49 they got changed. I think the shotgun recipe has actually changed. But I, I have a feeling the next update, a lot of the recipes will change a little bit. They'll add in the camo patterns, and there might be one other big thing about the game. Um, big update for the game. Angry bear. Why do uh, you always see an angry bear when you want to get stuff? Uh, oh, can it snap there? Ah, see, that's not, that's not right. I can go that way, I guess. I think we're going to be moving uh -huh. all this stuff around. So, let's see. Will that stay in place there? I don't I don't know if it will or not. Oh, damn it. Oh, I did fix it. Right, let me come back and see if... Do, 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 do. Oh, there's a grouping of animals down here. I think they're planning an attack. Good thing about this base is because there's so many animals down the shoreline generally, if the hunters or when the hunters attack, they're going to have to go through several animals. Yeah. Now, do the animals actually attack the hunters? Because I've had situations. Only if. And they're they're oblivious. The bear doesn't care. Only only if they shoot or damage the bear, or I think if they're being aggressive too close to an animal, it will then attack them. Huh. Okay. But I don't know how that trigger actually works. Uh, I've had you've had bats kill miners. Ah. 
I've never seen a advanced killer miner. I've seen bear, and obviously bears go after hunters for no real reason. I think they will also target the animals so that they are like hunting them basically. Yeah, the best one I've had is um, they've thrown a grenade. They've injured the, I think it was a bear outside the base. And then they, then a second group of hunters attacked and yeah, c cougars will kill hunters quite easily. But the bear ended up like a level 6 bear because it killed all the hunters. Which was rather handy. Um, do you want to start building you some... Uh, oh, you've got all the stuff, haven't you? I've got all the stuff. Okay. So, okay, will this... Yeah, that'll be oh, out flag. far enough. Uh, do you want some more stuff? Uh, some cordage. All right. Some cordage, planks. Cordage, planks. A few more nails. nails. Got it. And if you need anything built, let me know. Well, I want to do all the placement right now so that until we get yep. the BCU up, I can at least move it around. Um, but I'm thinking, you know, yeah. we just do... All we really need is enough foundations in place and then walls. Or a wall, and we can place that BCU. Yeah. So, yeah, I'll have a few more foundations going up. Oh, you know what? Here, do me a favor. Take this. And this. And this. And just deal with those for a second while I finish up with placing foundations. Oh, that was a bit too far. Uh, did you get hurt? Oopsie. Broken leg. Yeah, a little bit. Not quite, not quite a broken leg, but bad pains. Uh, yeah, we're going to need to put a BCU down if we want to repair anything anytime soon because this campfire is nearly broken. Same you can't punch. Was I punch Tat and Blondie for napping? Yeah. When they're supposed to be working hard. It helps if I take the cantina that I want to fill up with me. There should be canteens in the box. I don't know if you'll see them because we had something weird going on with canteens yesterday. But I did put a bunch of canteens in a box and they stayed there for me at least. Uh, yeah, they're still there. Uh, okay, so the shotgun icon changed. Yep. Uh, yeah, it's changed to like a similar angle to the lever action rifle. Hopefully, the update will be out at the end of this month, but we shall see, I guess. Okay. It's every three months, roughly, that one comes out, and this would be the third month. Hey, there's a package right down um, by the tree, uh, down... Uh, I, I can't describe That's where good. it is. It's uh, southeast of our rock. Uh, just you know, there's loads of meat in here if you need it. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm trying to figure out where to place the wall 
and then the BCU. You want to come up here and take a look and give me a, in the center a recommendation. In the center, yeah, let me get this package. but it can't be moved afterwards. So yeah, where where like is this package? Right, oh, come over. Oh crap, my mouse went weird. Um, where is it? It's right. Oh, yeah, yeah. You see it over here by that tree. Uh, northern caves. Uh, there is the northern cave system under this lake. Uh, there's the southern cave system. The lower, the deep cave system links them all together. There is. A, if you go into the southern cave system, there is actually a tunnel system that looks bright and lava-like. That oh no, sorry, that I think that's been replaced by the lower cave system. Um, stupid question. Okay, so I'm thinking we run from right here. We run a stairway that yeah. goes straight down all the way to the water and midway down yeah, that mid looks just annoying yeah well maybe not take it all the way down uh midway down uh between here and the water edge we have a platform that's three wide going off you know left and right from the stairway that's leading down from the platform i'm on right right um and then it'll be three wide, and then uh, have a stairway on each side leading down left or right. We don't necessarily have to have the one in the middle going all the way down, but that will be the, the platform we stand on. It will have windows, window walls we can look out of and shoot. It'll be safe. We'll have two ways to get up, one side or the other, and on, then this will be you know, the back side of the base. Gonna, you won't be able to shoot the hunters from up here. Yeah, you will. No, they'll hug the rock, and you won't be able to shoot them. No, you, the the key is we put a fence around the whole um, base, around the whole rock that keeps them. It's a good job these trees just never disappear. Otherwise, <laughs> you would need to chop down this entire yeah. game you have to, deforest. to build your fence. So, what do you think? I'm thinking. Okay, you want the BCU in the middle. This will probably be the middle right where I'm standing because we're going to take it all the way out to that side and all the way you know um, right now I could put like a a quarter wall somewhere say right about here why that, a quarter wall it's some place to place the BCU and we can go around it's it it's too low it's too low does that matter uh, yeah, it'll be annoying. Well, the other thing is, we put a wall, maybe on the back side, because the base is going to stretch out a little bit more, but if I put a wall right there, I could place a BCU on it, and then it would be a protected area. We don't have anybody shooting through the wall or a window to get to yeah. us. Oh, cold cave system. Yeah, they'll... Yeah. If there's going to be another cave system, that's going to be fun. Well, let me see. Yeah, actually, I think I will go ahead and just place the BCU right here. Uh, I'll just need to make one. And we can move that quarter wall somewhere else later if we want to. All right, so you say there's a bunch of food. Let me grab a bite before it all rots. Oh, our fire is gone. Did you take <sighs> it apart or what? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I broke it. Well, I can place another one up top. And we can start moving the crates upstairs. All right. Oh! <laughs> what? What happened? Did you fall? <laughs> Lag. Lag threw me off the rock. Oh, fantastic. This is why your base is stupid. 
Well, once we get walls in place, hopefully that won't happen too much. <laughs> it will happen a lot for me. That literally threw me 20 foot off the... Wow. Yeah, that looks painful. You're still bleeding. <laughs> you're, naked. you're leaving a trail of blood everywhere you walk. Good. That's awesome. Good. <laughs> It uh, reminds Splint. me of Dead by Daylight, where you get injured and you run around leaving blood pools everywhere. This is why I don't like building stuff on top of stuff. Although I did do it once, but it was a stupid base in the end. Look, I just don't like the hunters being able to just demolish your freaking base because it's at ground level. They're going to do it. They're going to do it anyway. But actually, no, they won't because there's two of us or four of us or even six of us. But in single player, it will happen. In multiplayer, it won't happen because there's too many of us. Well, um, let's hope that's the case. I don't trust those hunters. Unless they get a massive upgrade, which they probably will at some point. Yeah. Full, full body armor. Yeah, I remember. Helmets. I remember a long time back. You know, apparently players had complained a little bit about the AI. Just there being such dead eye shots. There, you know. And Cold Games, oh, I, I I fixed the AI or I adjusted the AI so it's you know more realistic or whatever. And man, I didn't notice a bit of difference. They still shot me in the head every single time. Pretty much how they work. Oh, I had uh, meant to go make a BCU. So. All right. Yeah, I didn't place either of those down, so I can't pick them up. Let's grab that and planks and electronics. Here we go, BCU crafting. I see a rabbit. I'll tell you, I had hoped that the other two that started with us yesterday would be here for the BCU placement, but uh, you know, I'm not going to wait forever. Never mind. Okay, structural integrity should hopefully hold. I didn't place the ceiling down, you did. We need to put the ceiling down where the campfire is. All right, just a second. I gotta place this just right. Uh, also, don't there. place the BCU on the outer wall. Too bad. It's done. Mm. Well, they'll take that. They'll, that wall will get hit by every single grenade that they throw. Well, that's the thing. Um, I don't think they're gonna be able to get to it. Because I'm going to build a fence down there on the other side that's going to keep them too far away. It'll be a little bit you of grenade time, but... You know grenade arrows are pretty... Uh, don't have access to the BCU. Well, see, uh, we're going to move this chest. We're going to have to move this chest because that area, that's going to be a vantage point where we shoot them. Um, all along this back wall. In fact, we may... Yeah, I'll probably put more foundations... Um, out further on either side of the BCU wall, it's going to extend out a little bit further. In fact, we'll put a curved wall leading out from the BCU unit on each side of it. So we get vantages yeah. and we can shoot inwards there and and then extend the entire foundations out one more foundation up there. Okay. I mean, we got time. It'll be, it'll be a while before they show up. But do you want to grab that first lock pick? I didn't. So it's in there. I oh, can't. Yeah, let me go ahead and invite people in. Man, it's so dark. Yeah, that's kind of why I want the campfire lit. All right, players, invite. Yay, okay. You're, you're part of my tribe. Fantastic. Oh, it's cold up here. Yay! Um. Oh, yeah, we need a fire. And we need a roof. Uh, we need a ceiling, which means... 
Just steal the one from down there. Yeah. And move the crates up here. Oh, there's um. Do you have a? Yeah. Let me... Do you have one fiber? And oh, no, I'll light the campfire so I don't die of cold. Yeah. Here, let me. Never just... mind. I have no hit points. Real quick and. Uh, I, oh crap, yeah, there's 23 fiber in the box with the food. We'll move these chests around later. <laughs> I just I just wanted to bring them up so I can get a ceiling. Oh, how are we gonna? Uh, damn it! No, we just need that ceiling. No, we need that no, ceiling. We don't. Just move. No, we don't. Move the stairs over. Huh? Just move the stairs over. Can't. This set of stairs we can. No, look, let me just make another ceiling. It's We're going to need lots of ceilings anyway. It's not a big deal. There, and... Uh, ceiling. There it is. I mean, we're going to move most of that stuff from down there up here sooner or later. But I'm thinking we just wait until we're ready to actually build a real pathway up and then and then start Fair moving enough. that stuff you know so there we got a ceiling all right hey, well We've got our BCU, we've got our tribe-ish, and uh, we've got our boxes up here, most of them at least. And I would say that's a, a pretty decent place to say thank you so much everyone for joining. We're of course going to continue on stream, but I'm going to call this a video part and I'll start a new one probably come morning time. So thanks everyone, and we'll talk with all of you again very, very soon. Goodbye all.